वेलकम डियर स्टूडेंट्स डियर स्टूडेंट्स वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस फ्रॉम क्लास नाइन मैथमेटिक्स बुक चैप्टर सिक्स लाइंस एंड एंगल्स पार्ट सिक्स बिफोर गोइंग टू डिस्कस टूडेज लेसन लेट्स सी व्हाट वी हैव डिस्कस्ड अर्लियर वी हैव डिस्कस्ड डिफरेंट एक्सियम्स एंड थियोरम्स ऑन पार्लर लाइन and also one application of that that is angle sum property of a triangle which says that the sum of the interior angles of a triangle is 180 degree today we are going to discuss about relation between exterior angle and interior opposite angle of a triangle also we will discuss some problems based on this relation now let's have a look to this figure in this figure you see the line qr is extended up to uh, extended and s is a point on it thus the angle prs is formed this angle is called the exterior angle of the triangle and we have three interior angles prq qpr and pqr here prs angle is adjacent to the exterior angle and we have two other angles which are not adjacent those angles are called opposite angles or interior opposite angles of the triangle with respect to the exterior angle prs so we can say that when triangle qr is produced in direction of r and s is a uh, r and s is a point on it angle prs is called an exterior angle of the triangle pqr then what is the relation between the interior angles and the exterior angles of a triangle as we discussed the adjacent interior angle is a uh, linear pair of the exterior angle however the opposite interior angles have some other relationship which can be stated in this theorem that is if a side of a triangle is produced then the exterior angle so formed is equal to the sum of the two interior opposite angles so let's have a look at the figure in this figure the interior angles of triangle pqr are marked as angle 1 2 and 3 so what is given in this figure according to our theorem in triangle pqr prs is named as angle 4 and that is the exterior angle 1 and 2 are the interior opposite angles now what to prove we have to prove according to this theorem 1 plus 2 angle 1 plus angle 2 is equal to angle 4 so how to prove it let's see you see rp is a line or ray stands on the line qr so angle 3 and angle 4 are linear pair so we can say that angle 4 plus angle 3 is equal to 180 degree now we know that by angle sum property of triangle pqr that sum of angle interior angles is 180 degree that means angle 1 plus angle 2 plus angle 3 is equal to 180 degree now you compare these two equations equations 1 and 2 the right side are equal so we can say the left sides are also equal that is angle 1 plus angle 2 plus angle 3 is equal to angle 4 plus angle 3 now you see we have angle 3 on both sides we can cancel these two or subtract angle 3 from both side to
to get angle 1 plus angle 2 is equal to angle 4. What was angle 4? Angle 4 was the exterior angle and angle 1 and angle 2 are the interior opposite angles. So, here is the uh, theorem. Now, we have to use some use this property to solve some the some of the problems. Let us have a look at one problem. You see in this figure PQRS is a quadrilateral in which PQ is perpendicular to PS, PQ is parallel to SR, angle SQR is equal to 28 degree, angle QRT is equal to 65 degree, then find the values of x and y. You see the figure is like this. This is your P and Q. This is 90 degree. This angle is X and this angle is Y. ST is parallel to PQ and QR is the line such that this angle is 65 degree. Now you see angle SQR is 28 degree. Then how to solve it? Solution. Now you see in triangle QSR which is the exterior angle exterior angle QRT is equal to which sum of which angles you see QSR this angle and SQR are the opposite interior angles. So, we can write angle QSR plus angle SQR. Let us substitute the values which is known to us QRT is 65 degree and QSR is not known. So, we can write QSR plus SQR is 28 degree. So, from this we can get that angle QSR is equal to 65 degree minus 28 degree and that gives 37 degree. Now you see QSR is 37 degree. Now PQ is parallel to SR. So, PQ is parallel to SR and QS is transversal. As QS is the transversal, we can say that QS is transversal. So, angle PQS is equal to angle QSR. Why? Because interior alternate angles. So, we know what is the value of QSR. So, this gives what is PQS? PQS is given as X and QSR is given as 37 degree. So, we can write that X is equal to 37 degree. Now, in triangle PQS angle SPQ is equal to 90 degree. Why? Because PQ is perpendicular to PS. So, in this triangle, if one angle is 90 degree, then sum of other two angles also 90 degree. This gives, as it is already written x and y, we can say x plus y is equal to 90 degree. From this, we have value of x is given 37 degree. So, 37 degree plus y 
is equal to 90 degree that gives y is equal to 90 degree minus 37 degree that is 53 degree. So, in this problem we used both parallel line properties and exterior angle uh, property and the angle sum property of triangle. Let us have a look at another problem. In this question, the side QR of triangle PQR is produced to a point S. If the bisector of angle PQR and PRS meet at a point T, then prove that angle QTR is equal to half of angle QPR. So, let us see PQR is a triangle which is extended to S. The bisector of angle PRS and angle PQR meet at a point T. We have to prove that angle QTR is equal to half of angle QPR. Now you see in triangle QTQR this angle TRS is the exterior angle. So, we can write we need QTR. So, QTR is in triangle QTR. So, in triangle QTR exterior angle TRS is equal to sum of the interior opposite angles that is angle TQR plus angle QTR. Now, you see from this relation we can find that angle QTR is equal to angle TRS minus angle TQR. Now, you see what is TRS? TRS is half of PRS. Why? RT is the bisector of PRS. As RT is bisector of angle PRS, we can say that angle TRS is equal to half of angle PRS. As QT is bisector of angle PQR, we can say that angle TQR is equal to half of angle PQR. Now, you see in the equation 1, we have TRS equal to TQR plus QTR from which we get QTR equal to TRS minus TQR. Now, in figure, in uh, triangle PQR, in triangle PQR, exterior angle PRS is equal to angle QPR plus PQR. Angle QPR plus 
angle PQR. From this, what is angle QPR? So, we can write angle PQR, angle QPR is equal to angle PRS minus angle PQR. Now, in this question, we have angle TRS and angle TQR, which are equal to PRS, half PRS and half PQR. So, we can write in place of PRS, we can write 2 TRS. So, 2 angle TRS and in place of PQR, we can write angle 2 TQR. Taking common 2, we have angle TRS minus angle TQR. Now, what is TRS minus TQR? TRS minus TQR is QTR. So, we can write 2 into angle QTR. So, from this relationship, we can say that angle QTR is equal to half of angle QPR. This was to prove and we proved that angle QTR is equal to half of angle QPR. Here also we applied the exterior angle theorem. Let us have another look uh, to another question. In the figure if AB is equal to AC and angle CAD equal to 160 degree, angle BCE is equal to 40 degree, then show that BE is equal to BC. Now, here the figure is like this. Here it is D. A, B, C is a triangle in which A, C is equal to A, B and C is there. Here it is E. So, in such a way that C, A, D is 160 degree, B, C, E is 40 degree and A, B is equal to A, C. So, in triangle ABC, AB is equal to AC. As AB equal to AC, we can say that angle ABC is equal to angle ACB. Now, again, exterior angle in this triangle the exterior angle is A C A D and by exterior angle theorem we can say this is equal to angle A B C plus angle A C B. We can substitute the value of C A D as 160 degree and in place of A B C we can and in place of SCB, we can write ABC. So, ABC plus SCB will become 2 ABC. And this says that angle ABC is equal to 160 degree by 2. That is 80 degree. Now, this angle is 80 degree. In triangle CBE, in triangle CBE, CBA is the exterior angle. Exterior angle CBA 
A is equal to angle B C E plus angle B E C. B C E angle and B E C angle. These two are interior opposite angles. So, this gives what is CBA? CBA is 80 degree. So, we can write 80 degree is equal to what is BCE? BCE is 40 degree plus angle BC. From this, we get angle BC is equal to 80 degree minus 40 degree that is 40 degree. This shows that angle BEC is equal to angle BCE. Now you see in triangle BCE, BCE angle and CEB angle are equal. So their opposite sides are, are also equal. That means side BE is equal to side BC. This was to prove and we proved this. Here also we apply the same exterior angle theorem. Now look at this another problem. In this question, in a triangle ABC, bisector of angle A intersect BC at D. Show that angle ABC plus angle ACE is equal to twice angle ADC. The figure is like this. Here ABC is the triangle and it is extended up to E. The bisector of angle A intersect BC at D. It is given. So, what to prove here? We have to prove that angle ABC plus angle ACE is equal to twice angle ADC. See how to prove You see what is ACE? ACE is exterior of an angle, uh, exterior of a triangle. Now, which triangle? ABC. So, we can write in triangle ABC exterior angle <coughs> ACE is equal to which are interior opposites? CAB and A, B, C. Again, from this, what is C, A, B? C, A, B is this angle and we know A, D is bisector of angle C, A, B. This implies angle B A D angle B A D is equal to half of angle B A C or angle B A C or C A B is equal to twice angle B A D. Now, come to this equation 1. Adding angle ABC on both sides of equation 1, what do we get? Angle ACE plus angle ABC is equal to, in right side you have CAB and the value of CAB is 2 BAD. We can write 2 BAD. CAB is equal to 2 BAD. So, in place of CAB, we can write 
टू बी ए डी प्लस ए बी सी प्लस ए बी सी वी एडेड ए बी सी ऑन बोथ साइड सो वन ए बी सी इज हियर एंड इफ यू एड वन अनदर ए बी सी देन इट बिकम्स टू ए बी सी नाउ टेकिंग टू कमन वी हैव बी ए डी एंगल बी ए डी प्लस एंगल ए बी सी you see let this equation 2 in triangle adb exterior angle is which one exterior angle is adc angle adc is equal to sum of the interior opposite angles that is d a b plus angle A B D D A B or B A D and this is angle A B D. Now you see D A B plus A B D. Here it is written D A B plus A B C is same as A B D and that is equal to A C E plus A B C. So we can write three. Now from equation 1 equation 2 and 3 what do we get we get ace angle plus abc angle is equal to you see dab plus abd and here it is twice of dab and abc so we can write two BAD plus ABC is ADC, so we can write ADC. So this was to prove, and we proved it. Now you see here also the same, the exterior angle and interior opposite angle relationship. Now you see another question. Here this is the figure. In this figure, angle A is thirty degree. Angle B is forty degree, and angle D is fifty degree. Find the angle AED. See in this figure. Figure is like this: A, B, C, up to D, and here is a line. This point is E. Now this angle A is thirty degree. This angle B is forty degree. This angle D is fifty degree. Now you see, we have to find angle AED. You see, in triangle ABC, the exterior angle is ACD. Exterior ACD is equal to Angle BAC plus angle ABC, and we know the value of BAC is thirty degree, and ABC is forty degree. So this sum is seventy degree. Now, angle ACD, this angle is seventy degree. Now, in triangle cd which is exterior angle exterior angle aed is equal to interior opposites that is angle ecd plus angle edc and what is the measure of angle ecd angle ecd is same as angle acd That is seventy degree, and what is EDC? EDC is given to be fifty degree. So this is hundred twenty degree. So here the angle AED is hundred twenty degree. Now see next question is this is the figure. In this figure, angle C is thirty degree. 
angle A is 55 degree and angle B is 45 degree. Find X. Now you see the figure is like this. Here A, B, C, this is the point D and this angle to be found out and what is the value of C? This is your 30 degree, angle A is 55 degree and angle B is 45 degree. To solve this, let draw AD, a ray AD up to say E. So, write the construction here. Draw AD and extend it to E. Then solution is like this. CAD is a triangle. So, in triangle CAD, which is exterior angle? Exterior angle is angle CDE, which is same as angle ACD plus angle CA. D. And again, in the uh, next part, we can write in triangle uh, BAD, which is exterior angle, exterior angle is BDE, is equal to angle DAB plus angle DBA. Now, if we add these two, what do we get? Angle CDE plus angle BDE is equal to ACD, ACD plus CAD plus C D A B plus angle D B A. Now you see C D A plus B D E, C D E plus B D E. These two are two adjacent angles. So their sum is angle C D B. Angle A C D is as it is and what is CAD plus BAD? CAD and BAD these are also two adjacent angles. So, their sum is equal to angle CAB and angle DBA is as it is. Now, let us put the values of the angles here. What is CDB? C D B is X. A C D, A C D is 30 degree. What is C A B? C A B is 55 degree. And what is A B D or D B A? That is 45 degree. From this, it is 130 degree. So, the value of X is 130 degree. Here also, we used the extended line AD to apply this exterior and interior angle relationship. Dear students, in this lesson, we learned about the parallel lines and where a transversal uh, intersects two parallel lines, the corresponding angles are equal and if the corresponding angles are equal, then lines are parallel. Similarly, if transversal intersect to parallel lines, then alternate interior angles are equal and on the same side, the interior angles are supplementary. We learnt this and using this, 
we also proved that the sum of the interior angles of a triangle is 180 degree and using this property we also show that that the exterior angle of a triangle is equal to sum of the opposite uh, opposite angles of the triangle so dear students this is the end of the lesson thank you